Hello everyone, it's Gaia, and I'm back with another Sims video. Another talk with me, talk with Gaia session. How are we today? I hope you all are doing well and that you are enjoying the new videos so far that I produced in January. I'm doing good. Today is the 9th of January. I know, crazy. It's like, girl, you're doing a lot of videos in like this amount of time. I know but it's all for a divine reason. I'm gonna take some time before I just ramble to think about what I wanna talk about today, but today's gonna be really chill. We're gonna, we're gonna vibe. I'll probably listen to some music. Let's talk about taking needed breaks. Something I struggle with. Sorry if you can hear kids outside. I think kids just got out from school, but yes, let's talk about taking needed breaks. So as you all may know, I'm a Virgo, which means I'm very, goal oriented and sometimes those goals can get in, in the way of me taking care of myself which i need to work on and i need to prioritize that next now sometimes it's not even me intentionally going after a goal and like being really stressed about it it can often be and i'm realizing this with the new year it can often be me being so into something that i love and that i care so much so deeply about and you can see that side of me more on my madison channel which will be linked in the description oftentimes it really is just me being so caught up in something and i feel like some people will be like but isn't that good like you're really passionate about something so why don't you just keep at it i am right that's the thing i am really passionate about of course i'm like but sometimes i can give like 150 percent, and that really drains my energy and sometimes i don't realize when i need to balance it out and be like okay madison Gaia Madison. I'll probably keep you I'll probably use my real name here because this is a more like personal up close like I'm here type of thing. Like okay Gaia, like calm down, like you're okay. Take a breather, take a break. Because I won't lie, the first week of the new year, January first to whatever, I was just so pumped and I did so many things and I'm so proud of myself. That was all last week for me. I was so proud of myself and I was like, yeah. And the thing is, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to be like, okay, now I want to do this. Now I want to do that now. And I love that. I absolutely love that for me because there's nothing better than being passionate and then having the drive to do it as well and being motivated. That's great. But the problem came when my body was saying no. I had to take today literally today to just relax and i'm not even relaxing i'm recording but it's something i love to do so obviously i'm here i'm sorry but i did rest really well last night like I, before i was going to sleep at like 4 a.m because i i was like i want to do these many things i want to do this much and i did it and i'm really happy but my body was not and that's the most important thing that i have to take care of in this life Literally, there was one night where I was just laying and I'm like, oh, but I want to, it was like, I want to do these things so badly, but my body was like, no, you're not. And I literally could not move. And my body started showing signs of, hey, you need to slow down. My back was hurting, like all of these just things. And it wasn't, I wasn't doing too well. <laughs> and by wasn't, I'm kind of talking about now still, I'm getting better at this and I'm trying to learn the balance, but I'm just overall so passionate about what I do that it can take a toll on my body i'm not gonna lie so a reminder to anyone feeling like that or even if you're like working towards something that you don't really care about you know what i mean like it's like society like oh i need you know go to school go to college blah, blah, blah. if it's stuff like that especially if it's that take a break and figure out what you actually want to do with your life or just take a break in general because sometimes i'll get like this creative cloud in a way this creative fog where i'll have so many ideas and i'll be like okay let me write all of them down this is all the stuff that i want to do but i won't take any action because my body will be like well you want to do these many things and i'm over here suffering like you're not taking a break what are you doing so today i really decided to lead in a way by impulse but i want to say inspired action more and i think i talked about that in my last episode maybe i didn't i don't know my last talking with guy episode i'm not sure leading with inspired action i was doing this before the new year and like a few weeks before the new year well i think like one week and it really changed how happy i was if that makes any sense yeah it makes sense 
because I wasn't so fis- fixated on how I was going to do something. I just knew my why and I knew my intention behind it, which opened the door for me to be able to just act on it. And I used to be the type of person where I would prep so much and I prep, oh, let me do this, let me do that, oh, let me get ready for this and then never actually do it because I feel like sometimes our brain can overhype something if we keep procrastinating on something yeah that's also something like building resistance toward a ta- towards a task that you have and you're just like oh let me wait off on that or let me plan on doing it this day and then you never actually get to it because you're like oh but and i have a perfect example for this so my last talk with me session there was the montage of you know what you were watching while i was talking and I just took so long to film that and I really didn't want to because I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like feeling that, feeling, filming that. But last night I finally did it and I felt so much better. But I think it was because I was distracting myself in a way with productive tasks that I actually want to do, right? But I really needed to do that instead, you know? So it was kind of like the creative fog that I was talking about how it's like, oh, let me just do that. And then, the, but then I finally took a break and I was like, you know what, guy, calm down what do we actually what's the first step that we can see in our vision and then i did it and i was like good job gaia and then i went on to do other things that i had planned but like i'm saying it's really important to just take a break when you need it this can be just lying in bed all day this can be whatever your version of a break looks like just take a break sometimes a break for me which i was doing this past week was just sitting with myself and grounding myself i was listening to a root chakra meditation and i was just sitting and i just let myself be and i was really present in the moment because it led me to my next action and this was a day where i was like really busy just filming and doing other stuff so i really just sat down i was like gaia we're gonna sit we're gonna take a moment for silence for stillness because stillness is so important i feel like stillness is often overlooked as not doing anything productive but stillness is so productive and rest is so needed like literally like if my body okay and i say this me being trying to be so productive but well not trying to be i was being productive and it just felt so good if my body wasn't in the capacity to do things and me my body not being able to move was a perfect example of that my body if i don't take care of my body my vessel my quote-unquote vehicle car to get to where i want to be i'd be nowhere like we'd all be nothing and that is why it's very important to take care of your vessel and give yourself the nourishment you need and realize when like i said it's okay to keep going or you're like okay let me take a break and just be you know and even if you're like you know you feel really good while doing stuff whatever still take the time to be present okay let's talk sims videos what are we feeling about my content right now I love it, I'm not gonna lie. It's been really fun, especially the Sour Legacy. That has been super fun. I think the time I'm filming this, one of my videos that I really enjoyed filming has already come out, which was the Glow Up The Sims 4 with me. That was like one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed. It took me so long to edit, but it was so fun to film. Speaking of that, there's something similar coming out like that again. So if you like that, Rest assured, something like that is coming out soon as well. I really had fun filming that. I think sometime next month that's going to be coming out. That was just a random idea I had before the new year. And I was like, I have to do this. I really had the filming bug lately. All last week I was filming. A start of a new week, I'm here filming. Filming has just been my happy place, especially these talk with me's. Like, you don't understand how much of like, in a way, therapeutic these are. And I hope... These are also enjoyable for you guys as well. Because if not, then I'm like, dang, what am I doing this for? For myself, of course. But it's always nice when the audience you're creating it for, well, I'm creating it for myself as well, enjoys it. You know, if both of us have a mutual enjoyment, I'm open to new suggestions of what I should film as well. But obviously, I'm going to do wherever my heart is. But feel free to leave any suggestions. So anything that may be my type of vibe, you know, talking, or just really anything Sims related, feel free to leave a comment. I may do it. (laughs) And don't forget, I am going to be doing Minecraft. I just, it's coming, okay? Just not this month or next month. I just already have my content planned and I'm not going to change it because I'm loving how it's going to look. 
Another reason why I film these type of talking videos is because they're so easy to edit. Like, what other games would you guys like to see? I'm thinking Animal Crossing because I absolutely love playing Animal Crossing and I love just designing my character and stuff. I talked about this before, kind of a lame topic, not gonna lie, but it's, it's out there. You know, if you have any suggestions or things that you want to see from me, let me know. I already said this. Let me know. Drop a comment. Don't be shy. Why are you shy? Like, if anyone should be shy, it should be me. I'm literally just sharing all my opinions. So you can at least share one if you want to, if you feel comfortable. I don't want to be like that one of them, like share tell me no if you feel comfortable i will say all of the videos that i filmed have not fully been edited yet except for one of them i've filmed this is my fifth video already and i'm really proud because now i only have four more to film and plus the other footage that goes along with this five videos in nine days is like a record for me we have my sour legacy challenge these videos talk with gaia and then my current households which is also fun there's a lot going on with my current household i think you've already if you watched it you've already seen that video because that video is already up it's not filmed which is weird it's not filmed for me but it's already been filmed for you by the time you're watching this or listening to this i should say there's so much going on with my current household um series like so much that i don't i don't even know what's happening with them or where their story's gonna go because there's just there's so much there's so many plot twists and i i don't know i don't know what's happening but i also think that's kind of like the joy of the sims like sometimes sims will just be like oh just random things like oh death happened or this happened okay that didn't happen but if it did i would just be like sometimes i just roll with it other times i fix it and i'm like no that's not happening i need them for a storyline that i want to play with other times i'm just like going with the flow which is what i did this time in a way, overall, as, I, as I've mentioned, very happy with the content I'm having. If also, like, you're watching this and you have a channel or you want to start a channel, just do it. Just do it. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, just do it. That's how I was with this channel and I did not know what to do, whatever. But now, I'm literally at, like, 15 uploads. Well, no, no, farther than that right now. But I finished the year with 15 uploads. Round of applause. Round of applause. I saw this TikTok that was like, the fear of looking stupid is holding you back. And I truly think that's what it is. Like you, you can't care because people always are gonna have an opinion and you just gotta have yours stronger than theirs and do what you want because that's what truly matters at the end of the day. And be kind, of course. I saw this person, um, I forgot who said this, but they, the way they got video ideas was they have a journal. I have a journal, of course I do. And they just look at their journal and they're like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. And then they just make it another quote unquote pro tip. I think that's a really good idea though, because my journal has like so many ideas, just ideas, not like, you know, filming ideas, but just thoughts that aren't developed into ideas yet. But that's a good thing because there's so much that I could get from out of there if I just applied it. Pro tip. Just do it, just do it. Like Nike says, because if you don't, then you'll miss out on something that you think could have been grand, you know? Or just miss out on having fun in general and who wants to miss out on having fun? Like you literally could just do it. And if you quote unquote fail, because nothing, you don't ever really fail. You just learn a lesson from it and then you do it again or you don't. And you can say that you tried really just do it though like there's no harm in trying you know what i mean and at least like if you say oh i'm gonna try there's a lot less pressure on yourself if you like quote unquote fail because you won't be like oh all these expectations like oh i didn't hit them like no just do it out of the sake of doing it i feel like that's my message everywhere that's literally that's my message because i say that so many times like just do it <laughs> nike sponsor me i swear I'll, I'll be a good campaign i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about what shall we talk about now oh my gosh you know it'd be so cool if you left like a suggestion being okay i'm gonna stop talking about suggestions but if you were like if you have an idea you know about what i should talk about in my talk with me sessions 
I feel like that would be cool because then, you know, you'd actually like listen more. I feel like, you know, overall YouTube has been so fun in my short time of doing it. It's been, it's been fun. Like me just filming whatever I feel like is so fun and I guess invigorating in a way in like ways I did not even imagine. I was like, whoa, this is so fun. I, I get why so many people do it. You know what I mean? And I, cause sometimes I see some channels and like they only have like a few views or whatever, but they have so many, oops, what was that? But they have so many videos and I'm like, dang, I feel like it's truly them not caring about, obviously they don't care about like what other people think because if so, I feel like they would have, you know, not quit a long time ago. That sounds really bad. I don't mean it. Mm, I kind of mean it like that in a way, you know what I mean? Because, okay, I think what I'm saying is like, they're not basing what they're doing off of numbers, which is great because they're just doing it because they wanted to. Like, they're going to do it regardless. And I think that's so inspiring to just do things regardless without external validation from doing them. If that, Yeah, that makes sense. Because sometimes we try and then we look for external validation like, oh my gosh, did I do, do I, did I, did, did I, did I, did, <laughs> did I do a good job? And then the outside world will be like, no, you suck. But if you, from the inside, if you got a strong like, nah, I did that, then who really cares? Like, it really doesn't matter what other people think as long as you're happy. Ew, I sound so inspirational. Mm, I gotta change that. I could be like, nah, you suck. And I'm playing. I would, I would never. This just doesn't go for filming. But if you have any idea, just try. Just try it out. And if you don't meet the expectation you set for yourself, try again. Like, who cares? Like, literally, who cares? I need to stop saying literally. Who cares? But wait, take what you learned from that, though. Because that's really important to take what you learn. Because you, then you can apply it again in the future. Don't just try and then be like, oh, I did terrible and then move on with your life. No, take what you learned and then do it again if you feel like it. I encourage you to do it again, though, because more than likely your next thing that you do or if you redo it, it'll be so much better than what you just did, obviously, because you've done it already, you know? I feel like that's another thing with filming is that some people get so wrapped up, including me. I used to be like this, like, oh my gosh, I want my first thing to be perfect, but it's not. And it, to have that expectation is kind of insane because it's like, oh, you expect your first thing to do to be perfect, even though you've never done it before. Like, that's just not, I don't know, like, it's not logical, you know, and obviously sometimes I don't like thinking logical because, you know, I believe in the multiverse, okay? But some things it's just like sometimes you can be realistic i guess just be like you know what it's not it's probably not gonna be amazing but it can be in the future if i just keep applying it and also don't quit because you never know how close you are to something you never know how close like the only thing separating you from where you want to be is time and if you believe that it's for you it's gonna be for you like it can't be taken away. well that's what i believe whatever's meant for you cannot be taken away and if you feel in your gut in your soul that it's for you then it's like why would you give up truthfully like that makes no sense like why would you give up like oh i know this is for me but i'm just gonna oh it's so bad oh it's so sad here no bro you have to keep going you gotta keep going and if you don't i'll do it for you the end i'll do it for you if you don't keep going because I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Of course I am. It's me. Wow, well, I sound very cocky, but it's true. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at my notes to see, like, certain things that, like, I want to talk about. Because my notes app and my physical notes, very, very good ideas. Okay, this wasn't really in my notes, but this is just something I was thinking about as I was scrolling. But truly taking a break, I, I know I'm talking about the same thing over again, but taking a break can do so much. Like rest is like so good for you. Like, I don't think people understand how good rest is for you. And it's like, oh, but you're not doing anything. Who cares, bro? Just go to sleep. Like actually go to sleep. It's really good for you. And you'll feel much better after it. Mm -hmm. Totally. There's this quote that I wrote down that I just found that says so well it's not a quote it's just something that i thought of i was inspired 
by something that someone else said and i just turned it into my own words anyways so many people's artwork goes unseen but that doesn't mean it's irrelevant the right people just haven't found it yet which is so true just because you know your video didn't like reach a certain amount of views doesn't mean it's unimportant like no it just means your audience hasn't found it yet but they will with the algorithm <laughs> if the algorithm favors you you have to do certain things to honestly to like favor the al for the algorithm to favor you but after that you're golden you're go and then your thumbnails i could give tips on that but i will later maybe we'll see i also wrote down this too like on the same page i don't know why but i did I mean, it's not completely bad to get another person's opinion, but we can only truly see whatever our lenses show us. Everyone has a different set of lenses that show us different things. Don't be afraid to change up the prescription to gain another perspective. I'm a poet or whatever. Okay, that wasn't even poetry, but you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was good. I dropped a bar. I ate that up. Anyways, but it's true. Sometimes, you know, your brain can like be like, oh, you suck or whatever. And then you just gotta, and then someone else can be like, oh my God, you did so good. You know what I mean? You really just have to fine tune your perspective towards thing, things. And if you do, then <laughs> good for you, I guess. I don't know. And then one more thing I wrote down that I just, another thing that I found. Um, do you really need other people's opinions? And then it's a question mark. You're bored enough to think about what other people think. So get busy. Wise words from Gaia. <laughs> I think that's so true though. Like sometimes I used to care and I'd be like, you know what? Let me just do something. And then I do it. And then I would not care. Cause I'm like, if I'm having fun, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what others think if I'm having fun. Like, no. Just because you're like, mm, actually, no, <laughs> no. Why, why would I, why would I care? There was this, um, thing that tyler the creator said and it was like you clearly want to make something so why don't you just make it and then the person was like i don't know i think it was like a not not an interview i think it was a podcast or something maybe it was an interview i don't know it was a podcast it was like you clearly want to make it so why don't you just make it they were like i don't know and they were like exactly like tyler was like exactly and then the person ended with you know what i'm gonna just do it and i love that for them and i hope hopefully they did it hopefully they created their art because there's a collective out there that needs to see it. Oh, my rabbit's just laying on the ground, kind of next to me. Not really. She's in her cage, but she's kind of like close to me. I'm like, oh, so sweet. I'm going to be laying it down, laying it down. <laughs> Whoa, laying it down in a few minutes as well, because I'm kind of I'm not tired. I did school for today and that went really well. And I'm happy with what I, I could low key finish school for the week. The way my school puts out work, I could just finish it for the week. And all my teachers. I could just finish it for the week and that'd be done. But sometimes, like I said, you need to take a break and maybe I don't feel like doing it right now. I did six assignments today, which is pretty good. I only have six more for the whole entire week, so I might finish that up. We'll see. We'll see. If not, then, you know. I watch I'm watching um Gudetama. I forgot the um the fin the, the full no the full name of this show. But it's like Gure Tama and they're trying to like find his mom. And they be dropping some good quotes. Like I, I, I realize it's like a child show, right? But the quotes and the stuff they be saying in there is so good. Like Gure Tama's always like, well, first of all, Gure Tama's always like, what a drag. Which I don't, I don't, you know, that's kind of like, dang, that's tough. But the other things they say is like, go with the flow or like, just, you know, just certain things. And also like, not... Literally, I, I feel like maybe this whole thing was kind of inspired by Gudetama, to be honest. The little egg was, like, saying, they were saying that there was this, like, governor, I think, or something, or I don't know really what he was. And he was like, I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I don't feel like doing it, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then Gudetama was like, then why do you care? And then he was like, I don't know, I just do. And it was really, you know, the public's opinions about what he had to do. And then Gudetama turned out to be the governor. Governor. <laughs> I know it's not realistic, but you get it. You get it. Overall, Gudetama be preaching. Let me find what the show is actually called. While I find it, any good show recommendations? Because I need to watch more shows. Because I, I really don't. Gudetama, an excellent, an excellent adventure. You should definitely watch that. It's so good. 
I don't care how old you are. Like, you, if you're, like, 80, watch it. Because it's so good. And you'll learn a lot. Or maybe you already know all of the information. But it's still a good reminder, you know? Like, I knew most of the stuff in there. But it's always a good reminder. After this, I'm probably going to go edit some of my videos. And export this file into my phone. So I can edit it. And so I can get a head start on that. I hope you found at least one of the things I said useful. If not, I got a, I got some real re rethinking to do. Actually, no, I don't because I find this stuff interesting and my collective will too, you know? Message of the day, do what you wanna do without the pressure of society creeping in your on your neck like a vampire. Like, I'm gonna suck all of the happiness out of you if you don't do what I need you to do. No, relax, live life, go to sleep, take a nap. That's that's actually the real model. Mo model? Motto is to go to sleep. Quite literally, just go to sleep. Take a nap. After this, you should take a nap. I don't care if you're at work. I don't care. Okay, if you're in your car, I was supposed to say car. Drive to where you need to be or pull over <laughs> and then take a nap. Of course, I'm joking. All jokes, all jokes. I do not encourage sleeping and driving. That's bad. You could fall and you could die. Don't do that. You could also injure other people and I, I don't want that on my watch. That that won't me, okay? If you show the cops this video and be like, she said, no, I did not. No, I did not. Shh, quiet, quiet. I also have other things that I probably want to do, but like I said, I should follow my own advice and sleep. Gaia, go to sleep. Why are you always trying to do things? That's me though, I'm such a busy body, okay? And that's fine, cause it's fun, okay? Imagine just like being boring, not me. Uh, okay, now I sound like a pick me girl, my bad. Actually, no, I don't care. Um, Oops, if you just heard that, I'm not editing that out. My favorite song right now, no one asked, but I'm sharing it anyways, cause I asked. My favorite song right now is, um, I think it's, I think it's called Vienna by Vienna, Vienna by Billy Joel. Such a good song. That's, I feel like that song was made for me in in a way because that's me. It's saying, especially like, especially the, what's it called? The main part of the song. Don't know what that's called, sad. Slow down, you're doing fine. You can't be everything you want to be before your time. Or no, not that part. That part too. But the part was like, you're so ambitious for a juvenile. Me. Me. That's so me, bro. But sometimes I need, to, I just need to slow down. And then it says, Vienna waits for you. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. I really shouldn't. But maybe I will. Maybe I'll have to edit it out and you won't hear anything. We'll see. But overall, I'm very thankful for you tuning in today. And if you stay to the end, comment a teddy bear, okay? I'm gonna go. I'll see you next time. Love you. Peace out. <laughs> but yeah, this was Gaia, and I will see you next time. Bye.